Hello, we're continuing our walk through John and I'll read in chapter 16 from verses 5 to 11. Now I am going to him who sent me, yet none of you ask me, where are you going? Because I have said these things, you are filled with grief. But I tell you the truth, it is for your good that I am going away. Unless I go away, the counsellor will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. When he comes, he will convict the world of guilt in regard to sin and righteousness and judgment. In regard to sin, because men do not believe in me. In regard to righteousness, because I am going to the Father, where you can see me no longer. And in regard to judgment, because the prince of this world now stands condemned. Now why is it better that Jesus is not on earth but with the Father? That's how Jesus starts in verse 5. Now I am going to him who sent me. Jesus is going to the Father and because of that the disciples, verse 6, are filled with grief. They've just been told the world will hate them and try to kill them and yet they've been given the task of telling the world about Jesus. But Jesus is going. But wouldn't it be better if Jesus was here, now, with us in the flesh? We would have Jesus among us, and then everyone else would surely believe. They could see and hear Jesus for themselves. But the surprise is in verse 7. It is for your good, Jesus says, that I am going away. How? Well, Jesus isn't just going to the Father. He's first going to the cross. And that is good for us because then, verse 7, the Counselor, the Holy Spirit, will come. And verse 8, the Counselor will convict the world of guilt. That's good news when you're trying to evangelise a world that hates you. The Holy Spirit will do the convicting. And we're given three areas where that works out. In verses 8 and 9, the Holy Spirit will convict the world regarding sin. That is particularly unbelief in Jesus. And also in regard to righteousness, revealing that it's not us who are righteous, but Jesus, that's now proven because he's resurrected and at the Father's side. And the Holy Spirit will convict the world in regard to judgment. Because at the cross, Satan, the prince of this world, was dethroned. He stands condemned, awaiting destruction. Now that can sound a bit abstract. So after you've watched this, may I suggest you read Acts chapter 2. Because there, when the Holy Spirit does come, we see all this in action. Not only does the Holy Spirit enable Peter to speak the gospel, but the Holy Spirit is at work in the hearts of those who listen, convicting them of their guilt. The people listening are convicted that they've not believed in Jesus that they've put a righteous man to death. They are cut to the heart. And so wonderfully they repent and believe, moving from under Satan's pretended rule to under King Jesus. And I find that a great encouragement to remember that the Holy Spirit is at work every time we speak about Jesus, individually or as a church, to family and friends that may not want to even listen, but the Holy Spirit is still at work. So why is it better that Jesus is with the Father? Because he sent his Holy Spirit to do the work of convicting the world of the truth. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you that you sent your Holy Spirit. Please, through your spirit, enable the hearts of those we know and love to be convicted 
and turn to believe in you. Amen.